And this was from Dan. And he asks, um, a while back, uh, Cena had a conversation about glyphosate. And I think she mentioned that it chelated several minerals. It made me wonder if there was anything out there regarding glyphosate and magnesium in particular. I guess I'm wondering if glyphosate could be affecting magnesium in soil, interfering with the plant's ability to uptake or even chelating within our bodies after consumption. Does this make any sense? <laughs> and yeah. my response is, uh, and Joel, uh, chime in too here, please, if you'd like. My response is yes. Uh, glyphosate is actually a potent chelator. Um, and, and we know this. Uh, it, it's one of its described abilities. And it easily binds to what we call divalent cations. So these are like calcium, magnesium, manganese, and iron. And when it binds up to these minerals, it forms what are called stable complexes. So for example, a glyphosate magnesium complex will tie up the magnesium, which means it, it can immobilize it and prevent the plant from absorbing it through the roots. Now, it's interesting too, because in aquatic ecosystems where heavy metals and glyphosate can occur together, uh, glyphosate and Roundup can control the toxicity and the bioavailability of heavy metals in that system because it binds so tightly to them. So if you think mm -hmm. of things like uh, lead or you know too much selenium or copper or whatever, you can actually add glyphosate or Roundup <laughs> to that water-based solution and bind it up. Um, so this can occur again in soil but it also can occur, like we said, in water, it can occur in the plant and it can occur in humans. Um, not, mag not magnesium, but manganese. There was a study showing that cows that were fed Roundup Ready feed um, did end up having quote, severe depletion in their blood levels of manganese. So both, uh, both of those are gonna be divalent cations. So we can extrapolate some from that, but it probably also occurs with magnesium. Um, one thing that I thought was interesting um, in relation to this question, uh, because, you know, he asked if um, it would chelate within the human body. So I found this study from 2025 that showed stable levels of glyphosate in the urine. Okay. Meaning there must be, and glyphosate's water soluble. So it can be, you know, filtered out in through the urine. But there's stable levels in this study among all these subjects indicating that there must be some um, consistent input, you know, into the body. But here's the cool part. Well, I guess cool as a scientist. <laughs> so within minutes of the glyphosate entering the bloodstream, it actually moved into the bone marrow and then it moved into the bone tissue and then back into the circulation. So this is really actually a devastating discovery for human health because as the glyphosate moved through the bone, it actually came into contact with minerals like calcium and it would chelate or bind up a portion of that calcium, which could weaken the bones. So we talk about like the prevalence of you know osteoporosis, for example, and here we are seeing a study just from this year of a potential mechanism or one mechanism behind which glyphosate uh, may may indeed uh, be associated with the increased risk of osteoporosis. I mean, I, that was news to me that within minutes it can go from the bloodstream into the marrow and the bone tissue and back out. Um, you just how, it shows you just how pervasive and potentially dangerous uh, these these different herbicides can be. Yeah, yeah, and and and. Uh... I've read too, I don't have studies in front of me, but I've certainly um, listened to people smarter than I am talk about the same thing happening in the soil. And so you have this this entire mineral uh, mineral depletion. And as we know, uh, minerals are really, really important uh, for a lot of things. And so when you start run, uh, running into these mineral deficiencies, it... Um, has devastating consequences to both plants and animals. Friends, want to dive deeper into our thought-provoking conversations? Become part of the Beyond Labels family today by joining below. For any gift amount, you'll get access to the full uncut episodes. Every contribution, whether big or small, keeps this podcast going. So join us and expand your Beyond Labels experience. 
Thank you.